Whether you're replacing an existing controller or installing one for the first time, Rainbird helps you take control over your landscape. To get started, choose a mounting location on a wall within six feet of an AC power outlet and away from major appliances or air conditioners. If you're replacing an existing controller, take a photo of the wiring details. This will be a useful reference when installing the new controller. Be sure to also take note of your existing settings, including start times, run times, and watering days for each station. You'll use this information later when you program the new controller. Unplug the power cord from the AC outlet and disconnect any valve, sensor, or pump start wires. If your old controller is hardwired directly into the power supply box, check your local building codes for guidance. Any permanent connection should be made by a licensed electrical contractor in accordance with the requirements of the National Electrical Code and other state and local codes. Next, remove the mounting screws and take the old unit off the wall. To mount your new controller, use the keyhole slot to hang the controller securely on the mounting screw. Remove the wire bay cover and drive a second screw through the open hole and into the wall. Route all field wires through the opening at the bottom of the controller. Do not route the valve wires through the same opening as the power wires. Do not remove the yellow jumper wire unless you are installing a rain-free sensor. Next, attach the common wire, which is usually white, to the common terminal marked C. Using the photo of the wiring details from your old controller, connect one wire from each valve to one of the numbered zone terminals on the controller itself. Depending on your specific model, this controller can accommodate up to eight independent stations, but be sure to connect only one valve wire to each zone terminal. Once you have all wires connected, record which valve wires are associated with their station on the programming chart that was supplied with the controller. Reference this chart when programming your watering schedule. After you've checked all wiring connections, it's time to apply power to the controller. If you've mounted your true controller indoors, connect the power cord wires to the 24 VAC terminals prior to plugging the transformer into a power outlet. If your new controller is installed on an exterior facade where it will be exposed to the elements, the outdoor model comes with a pre-installed six-foot power cord so it can be installed inside or outside if plugged into a weatherproof external outlet. Next, reinstall the wire bay cover and plug in the controller power cord. To ensure the controller is connected properly, turn the dial to manual station and run each valve for a short period of time to ensure that each station is actively watering. Now that your true irrigation controller is securely mounted, you can program your new true controller. Happy watering!